the sine qua non of diplomacy is talking. Uh, you know, I'm certainly uh, about the street heat that Greta's of the world uh, and perhaps Paul's and others are keeping on those in C-suites, and we've got to keep up that pressure. But the reality is we've also got to tone down the tensions that we've seen over the past several months between the U.S. and China. I think that this effort by Special Envoy Kerry, uh, you know, going to China is part of that. It's part of what Yellen was doing. It's part of what Blinken has been doing. We've got to keep up that conversation. The other reality, though, is that China is surging forward on the doing, uh, putting stuff in the ground, putting renewables in the ground, particularly wind and solar. They're closing in uh, on their carbon neutrality targets on just solar alone. They're looking at uh, possibly as much as uh, 1.2 terawatts of solar installed uh, and coming in almost five years ahead of schedule. So that's real, real progress. That's something that we need to highlight. That's a space that the U.S. needs to actually get in, a lane that the U.S. needs to get in. We are actually lagging in terms of the rapid deployment, even with all of the money that the Biden administration has put in to support renewable energy. We're lagging behind the curve. So we could take a lesson from China on accelerating the deployment of renewable energy in this country uh, and really give a hat tip and a nod and a thumbs up and a thank you for that aggressive uh, deployment of renewable energy, which we know is absolutely part of the solution set.